baseball player or softball player having groin pain. So that can be very difficult to treat uh, based on what's happened and how long you've waited to get treatment. So it's very common in just the, the basic throwing mechanics of once you get to that kind of uh, split position, depending on how you throw. So um, if you push the hip through and leave that foot behind to where your feet are straight and you're not rotating that hip through, then that will create a separation at your pubic symphysis in your your muscle, sorry, your bones in the front of your pelvis, and that will open things up and create some bad problems. As well as if you're too tight or too weak. If you're too weak, what happens is those muscles stay spasm over a long period of time and just try to pull things apart because they're so tight. So anytime when you uh, swing a bat or you're throwing or even sprinting once it gets tight enough, that can create a lot of tension and strain on those muscles and significantly hamper your season. To assess your groin pain in the office, what we're gonna do is simply do range of motion. So we're, we're gonna actually first start you with uh, some functional movements. So a squat, a lunge, a single leg squat. I'm gonna take you through a throwing motion as well as batting to make sure that your motions are efficient, that you're not working against yourself. Um, and so, that's kind of the initial part of the evaluation. Then we do uh, hip range of motion, back range of motion. We rule out, is this coming from your back? Because that is also a very common source of pain. Um, as well as we look at everything lower, so from ankle up, to find out, do you have any restrictions there that might be contributing to your adductor or groin pain? So once we have that full assessment, we will muscle test you to find out, is there any weakness here? Um, we check neural nerves to make sure that they're not getting compressed or irritated, which will also reduce your strength. Um, and so once we have all those assessments, then we uh, come up with a solid diagnosis uh, based on exactly what you're presenting with. Once we have a solid diagnosis, then we come up with a comprehensive treatment plan based on your findings and exactly uh, your goals. So. With that, we will typically include chiropractic, so chiropractic manipulation to your spine and extremity joints to loosen them up if they need in, uh, flexibility or increased joint motion to make sure that you're not restricted in your joints. Second, we do manual therapy, so massage therapy, trigger point, that type of thing to loosen up any tightness in the surrounding muscles or muscles far away that might be contributing to that area. And third, we do rehab and activity modification, which will help you prevent having this in the future. So that part makes it to where you're not coming in repeatedly, where we can get you out of pain and keep you out of pain, rather than just get you out of pain, which is obviously important, but not the whole picture. So if you're having groin pain and you're sick and tired of it, give us a call. We'd love to get you back on the field training as soon as possible.